Hey everybody, GM Creates here uh, with a new video. Uh, last night uh, was pretty cool. I had the opportunity to go to a special screening of the original animated The Transformers the movie and see it on the big screen, which was actually really neat. Uh, Fathom Events was putting on this thing. It was It's done in a way to, I guess, really promote the new Bumblebee movie that's coming out. Um, but it was also a chance to finally get to see the original Transformers the movie on the big screen one more time, which was really cool. Uh, I actually never did see it in theaters back in its original run. I mean, I've seen the movie a million times. I have it on, like, five different home versions. I think I've got it on VHS, on DVD, on a special anniversary edition DVD, a Blu-ray... I've got a, a million copies of it um, because I love Transformers the movie um, and definitely because I'm such a big fan of that I've been disappointed by the Michael Bay Transformers movies because uh, they're just not as good I'm sorry um, but uh, anyway talking about this event specifically apparently it was so popular that they had to add screens because the theater that I went to see it in had it playing in about four different theaters, uh, which is pretty cool for a movie that's that old. I mean, it was, what, 1986, I believe? I mean, that's 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 pretty cool. Um, and there was a lot of people in there to see that movie. It was really neat to see so many Transformers fans, old-school Transformers fans in one place. Um, so, first and foremost, just so I can stop the shakiness of this video, I'm going to pull this back and show this sweet, sweet poster that was a giveaway as part of the event uh with your ticket purchase you got you got this poster which is pretty freaking cool you see optimus rodimus well hot rod you see optimus with the matrix on the one side you got starscream and megatron and Soundwave and a bunch of other decepticons and on the other side you've got galvatron and the Decepticon spaceship, and you've got Unicron in the background, the sweeps back there. You've got Unicron in the background, of course. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, before the movie, before they got to showing the movie, uh, we went in, you know, before you, get, you went to the theater, and I went with a friend of mine, and we went in, and they were having Transformers trivia, up on the big screen, which was cool, you know, it's typical, like, movie theater trivia stuff, you know, pretty easy questions, it was things like, uh, oh, if I can remember, I mean, they literally asked at one point, like, what is the name that Megatron gets when he's given a new body by Unicron, it's like, well, hello, duh, um, but for anyone who's not a Transformers fan, the answer, of course, is Galvatron, um, voiced by Leonard Nimoy, um, and so then, before the movie, they showed the trivia, and then after that, they showed a special look at the new Bumblebee movie, uh, which, I have to be honest, when they first announced they were making a Bumblebee standalone movie, I was kind of like, why? Because all these other Transformers movies have been so bad, and um, then I saw what they made Bumblebee look like. Uh, in the first teaser, and I was like, holy crud, he actually looks like Bumblebee. And then there was a shot, and it looked like, oh my god, that's Starscream. Now, we've come to find out since then that that actually is not Starscream, um, but whatever, it looks just like G1 Starscream, which is pretty cool. Um, and then they showed, just recently, they put out another trailer that has Soundwave and Shockwave, um and Ravage, and a couple of other uh, old school... I mean, they look like G1 Transformers, which is so freaking cool, and actually has me excited for a Transformers movie. Um, I know it's not Michael Bay directing it, which is actually kind of exciting, because as much as Michael Bay makes great action movies... Um, uh, listen, I love The Rock. Um, that movie is great, but... He, the Transformers, the action in those movies is just so hard to follow. And it's just half the time you think they're not actually doing anything. They're just shaking the camera and getting way too close and just making machine parts move. And it just doesn't make any sense. Um, 
which to me just kills all the excitement. Like when you're seeing a fight, you want to know what's going on. You want to see your hero in trouble so you can see them come back. I mean, so let's get into, okay, they showed this preview of the Bumblebee movie. And, and again, I thought the Bumblebee movie looks pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to end up checking that movie out because it, it looks it looks pretty sweet. Um, you know, it's a shame it's still tied, I guess, to the same universe as those other films because well, I'd love to see them just go their own way. Which, who knows, maybe they will, but depends on, I guess, how well this one does at the box office. Um, so then they got into, of course, playing the movie we were all there to see and I tell you what watching the movie again and I've seen the movie a million times but seeing it up on the big screen was just so cool like the opening sequence with Unicron destroying the planet and then you know the theme song just rocking out on those movie theater speakers and uh that crazy like warp tunnel whatever the heck it is effect that they do during the opening credits and it's just so cool, and I loved. I was so excited to hear the the narrator who, it's like the best narrator that Transformers narrator voice who's saying, "It is the year two thousand five, which is just funny, you know, because two thousand five. Um, but you know, watching the movie, it sounded like to me, and my friend said the same thing. It sounded like the audio mix was slightly tweaked. A little bit because it sounded like there were certain things sounded different than what I'm used to them sounding like when it comes to some of the voices um, I felt like Unicron actually sounded a little bit more like Orson Welles um, if that makes any sense I mean obviously it's always been Orson Welles but it sounded a little less machiney and a little more Orson Wellesy, if that makes any sense um, and of course, the movie itself is so good. Like, you know, I know it was a movie made for kids and it was a movie made to sell toys and they had to wipe out all the other ones so that you would buy the new ones. And I think that was part of actually one of the things that made that movie great was that there were real stakes in that movie. I mean, that that opening assault by the Decepticons on that Autobot shuttle was just ridiculous. I mean, they just wiped out a bunch of like known Transformers, Prowl, Ironhide, uh, uh, Wind Charger, uh, who else was in there? Ratchet, like a bunch of people that you knew just just get got right at the beginning of the movie. And as soon as that happened, like when I first saw the movie back as a kid, it was like, oh my God, <laughs> what am I seeing? But like even now watching it, it's just like, wow, they, they just showed right off the bat they were not playing around in that movie. And... You know, then, of course, like I said before, seeing the action and seeing your heroes look like heroes. One of my favorite moments, maybe in all of movie history, is when Optimus Prime and the rest of the Autobots arrive at Autobot City after they've been battling and battling throughout the night with the Decepticons. And Prime shows up. And he has that incredible hero moment where he transforms and then he just like crashes through like three different Decepticons and then he transforms back into his robot form, flies up into the air and blasts like three or four more Decepticons before he hits the ground. And then he comes down and he just blasts a bunch more and it's like, it's just the biggest like, holy smokes, this guy is the hero. You know, it's so cool. And then he has the fight with Megatron. And in that fight with Megatron, you can see what's happening. Like, you know, you you can follow all the action and see what's happening. And, you know, of course, the big, you know, it's over prime. And then the big never when he does that big uppercut that knocks Megatron down the, the, the whatever you want to call it, down the cliff or whatever. It's so cool. So cool. And um, just the movie, I mean, it really did look good. I will say on the downside, there were a couple of spots where it looked blurry. I don't know if that was just a projection in the theater or if it was the print they were using. Oh, print. They probably were using a digital file, let's be honest. Um, but it did look a little blurry in a couple of spots, which was kind of weird. Um, but other than that, I mean, it really was so cool to see it up on the big screen. 
Um, and everybody in the theater, of course, knowing what's coming, laughing at certain lines, and just really, I mean, it was, it was so cool. Um, it was such a great event, and I really, I give credit to Fathom Events for putting this on. I mean, it was cool. I mean, obviously, it was a blatant attempt to try and hype people for the Bumblebee movie, but still, as a G1 fan, it was really cool to see that movie back on the big screen. And after the movie was over, they showed two special features uh, about the music from the movie, which, of course, if you've seen Transformers the movie, the music plays such a big part in that. I mean, uh, Dare, of course, and The Touch, of course, are, like, so synonymous with this movie. And they showed a couple of little special features, of one about each song, which was neat to see Stan Bush talking about the songs and talking about what they mean and you know it was fine it was nothing new really but it was it was cool to see just a little something extra and then as we left they were giving out the posters they didn't make it known that the posters were available but I just happened to see some people with them and so you know we found out where they were giving them out you just showed them your ticket stub or like we had it on our phones you just showed them your ticket on the phone and they gave you the poster and I thought that was really cool it was a neat little extra for going to this and and I thought that was a definitely a cool thing so as far as Fathom Events goes with these movies, and they've got some other ones coming up. I know they show some advertisements for uh, Bullet with Steve McQueen, which, okay, whatever. I'm not really... I mean, it's a good movie, but, like, I'm not dying to see that on the big screen. Um, they're showing a couple of Dragon Ball Z movies, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and they had a couple others. I can't remember off the top of my head now what they were. Um, but it was nothing... That, oh, it was uh, My Neighbor Totoro, which would be cool to see. I would like to take my daughter to go see that. Um and there was something else i forget what it was uh a couple other anime things i believe um but yeah i mean it, they definitely i would love to see them do more stuff like this like if they did gi joe the movie uh on the big screen i would go see it just to see that opening theme for from gi joe the movie on the big screen would be incredible because honestly the opening theme of G.I. Joe the movie is probably the most inspiring thing you will ever watch in your lifetime. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's on YouTube. You watch that. It's a. It's like an entire movie unto itself. And by the time it's done, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's just me. By the time you finish watching that, you are ready to just run through a wall or something. It, it's like the most motivating thing ever. Um, so definitely check that out if you've never seen it. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'd say I definitely had a great time. And... It was definitely cool to get this poster. I'm going to probably frame this and hang it up somewhere, which because it just looks really badass. And um, the movie was cool. It was a fun experience. It was really neat to be able to see it on the big screen. And I'm definitely going to check out more of these events to see what else they've got, if they got anything else I'm interested in. So I promised you guys a review of it. That's my review. I'm not going to give it a score or anything because that would just be dumb. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely a worthwhile time. It was fun. It was good to go see it. I had a good time with my buddy going to check out a movie we both love. And uh, that was it. So until next time, I will see you with another video soon.